the Indiana Fever held the New York Liberty to 16 points in the fourth quarter, which is huge considering Liberty averaged 87 points a game. Uh, Liberty won the first three meetings against the Fever easily. Um, and it's just, you can tell the Fever were a very young team. There was not a lot of chemistry, no cohesiveness, all the other big words. Um, they look the best today than I've ever seen them. Uh, they look great against Mercury. Don't get me wrong. That whole, got that dog in you. Like, they, it looked good. A lot of fight. But what you saw today, their defense, the rotation on defense was the best I have ever seen it this year. Um, as far as somebody being open, boom, them driving, here comes help side defense. Next person, they help up. So many helping the helpers happen tonight. Uh, if you know basketball, you know what that means. If you don't, uh, it, helping the helper means, hey, I'm going to play help defense, so that means my man's open. Can you leave your man to come help them? And it's like, well, what about the guy that they, they just left? Well, the person, the first person that got beat, boom, they take off, and now everybody rotates, and now everybody's guarded again. Uh, and by the time that third, fourth, fifth pass happens, everybody's on a man, even if it's not the man you started out on. So a lot of that happened tonight. Um, just a, a really good job by the Fever. Uh, I'm sure what they're doing in practice, I've seen some of the videos I've questioned, but maybe it's helping. Uh, Coach said that, first off, Coach Sides, the first great thing I've heard her say about Caitlin that hasn't seen forced was she's going to pick Caitlin for Rookie of the Year every day. She was like, she's going to protect her players. And I thought, well, that's good. Um, I hope that she's having these conversations with Caitlin outside of the game. Uh, I think that's great for a player coach to have a great relationship, especially at the highest level uh, of basketball. But she said she gave the team two days off. Coach Sides did. Well, the two days off uh, apparently helped. Uh, and it was a really, really good thing to see everybody just, yes, I'm sure they were fresh, but mentally it seemed like they were fresh. And if you guys know, they started out the year playing – 11 games in 20 days. I mean, it was just back to back. They had the toughest first part of the schedule than anybody because it just had so many games stacked in it. And obviously that's the, the money makers, the, the people that are trying to set up a lot of games. They want to see the, the crowds being full, all of that. So they threw it at them from the get go. But anyways, this, uh, this video is just to applaud um, the fever for getting better. And seeing them start to not just grow as individuals, but grow as a team and different team areas to see the growth on defense, to see the growth in ball movement, to see the picks, the screens being set better, like everything looks better. And I know we argue about these things a lot. And people I know, we talk about this a lot. You're at the highest level. How do you have to work on these things? And, and it's because WNBA is so far behind. Just girls basketball in general is far behind. And I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying there's not good players. I'm saying... When you go to the court and you see pickup basketball being played, how many girls do you see? You don't. It's always it's always guys. That one girl that's at the park playing pickup, she plays like a guy because she had to to adjust. If she wanted to play, if she wanted to be picked up on the team, she had to play like a guy. She had to be good. She had to be better than the average guy. So now you're seeing girls' basketball catch up, and that's why we're seeing the lack of – or we were seeing the lack of made layups and – the ball going through the hand, just all the little things. Um, so just shout out to girls basketball. Shout out to this this movement that we're seeing, this historical movement, girls basketball being being played. Um, and I'm not an Angel Reese hater, by the way. I know I love Caitlin Clark. You're going to see a lot of videos from me, and you've seen a lot of videos from Caitlin or about Caitlin. But Angel's she's dominating. She had like 27 points the other day. Dude, li she literally had like, what was it, 20-something rebounds? Uh, she had a double-double with 22 points and 17 rebounds. Like, these rookies are dominating, and I hate it for Cameron Brink. I think she was on pace to lead the league in blocks. Cameron Brink was uh, the number two pick in the WNBA draft, and uh, just she ended up tearing her ACL. So it just it's, these things happen, but I'm just super excited about this wave, uh, just this wave of girls basketball. And I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. You got the Paige Beckers group coming in. You got the Juju Watkins group coming. Like you got a lot of good players that are going to be coming up. So. Um, shout out to uh, Caitlin uh, for making uh, WNBA history uh, and Indiana Fever history and uh, franchise rookie record, uh, all the whatever, all the records that you made. Shout out to you. Um, you looked on your game tonight except for the third quarter. You kind of went missing for a little bit. Uh, then you kind of found your way in the fourth. Um, and just need to be aggressive. Need to, need to be more aggressive in chasing your shot. And, I, and, and I'm sure she's upset because she misses threes. I'm sure that's what makes her stop being aggressive. 
We don't care. Dude, shoot. Shoot the ball. Shoot or shoot. Uh, it, you shooting four or five threes and missing is a lot different than somebody that's a terrible shooter shooting four or five threes and missing. We want you to shoot. Um, I just I think the next thing on the list for this Fever team so they can start blowing teams out the water, playmaking and creating abilities from other players. Because I know if I had a player like Caitlin on my team, hey, Caitlin, just, just go sit on the wing. Just go sit on the ring. Okay, yeah, go sit on the wing. A and me, I'm about to try to sauce whoever's in front of me with a pick and roll coming. And as I'm going to the goal, that's a no-look pass all day. Like, that's my Clay Thompson. That's Clay Thompson to me, Steph Curry. That, that's, that's what that is. But they don't have the talent. Not right now. Uh, they don't have the players. But they are going to get there. And when they get there, it is going to be deadly to see a one-two combo out of Caitlin and whoever her point guard is and Boston. And that's, that's a big three. That's a real big three. Um, so, anyways, I'll shut up. But, yeah, uh, good job, Fever. I'm glad you guys are building. You're growing. You're doing good. Um, but – Next video is probably going to be me calling out some negatives, which is not bad. It's just criticisms on what you guys have to do to become an excellent team, which doesn't really matter. Nobody cares what I think anyways. But, yeah, we'll see you later.